G'day guys, welcome back. Now today I'm gonna to take the ROG1 from Alalo, also known as the Gladiator. Take it for a bash. Been uh, pretty keen to take it out. We've finally got some good weather. Fully charged 3S battery that's provided with it. Nice. And definitely test out its durability today. Now I've still got the standard 16 tooth pinion in it. Haven't changed to the speed pinion yet. Now my speed test the other week got mid 70s. And uh, more than enough. To bash around. This truck is insane, guys. The self riding works excellent. Yeah, like I was saying, um, I haven't tried the speed pinion yet. I might do later on, but uh, over the past week, I've noticed a few guys have already covered that in their videos, and I haven't seen one person just yet. I haven't watched many videos, but haven't seen anyone hit the 100Ks with it. I think they're hitting around 55 mile an hour, so I'm pretty happy just running it on the uh, standard pinion. More than enough power for bashing especially. It's not a little truck that you'd want to really do speed runs with anyway. If you want to do speed runs, you know, get a speed run car, a road car. Wow, this is fun. This is awesome. <laughs> Absolutely insane. <laughs> now when I made my initial unboxing overview video over a week ago I did notice that this truck its actual scale looked a little bit small and uh, I did leave out some footage in that video because I didn't want the unboxing to be uh, too long but I did compare this against one of my 16 scale trucks as well as another 14 scale. And this uh, little Gladiator sort of fell in between both of them. It was about a millimeter or two longer wheelbase than a HBX 16889, for example, and a little bit shorter wheelbase than a true 114 scale. Now you probably already realized that uh, ZD Racing have released this same truck, pretty much identical. And they're rating it as a 16th scale. It's actually part of the name MT16. It stands for Monster Truck 16th scale. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much closer to a 16th scale size. Yeah, I think I still got that footage on my PC. I think I've taken it off my phone uh, where I compare it. To some other truck and uh, I might make a short video and just show you the comparison in size and scale yeah what an awesome little truck guys heaps of power like I said you don't need that speed pinion for bashing and by the time you're watching this video it should be available for sale on the Alalo website at the pre-order or pre-sale price of uh, 149 US dollars. Not too sure what price they're gonna do after the pre-sale. Landed that backflip. 
Very tight back flip too. Oh, nearly. Probably shouldn't uh, try the self-riding too much. Can't be good for the diffs, but it does work. Well, let's bring it through these two trees. There's a bit of a jump here. Very bright amber LED light. Whoa! <laughs> Absolutely insane. Insane little truck. Full sand. All right. Held a wheelie there. Tell you what, this truck is a lot of fun. Definitely. Puts a smile on your face. Just the sheer power of it. Such a small scale car. It's incredible. I've got something locked up there by the look of it. Yeah. Okay, came out. Must have been in one of these gravel stones. Seems pretty durable. This shell's taken quite a beating. It's actually pretty thick. Oh, crazy, crazy car. Absolutely insane. Just one word to describe this little truck. Insane. I went and grabbed my ramp out of my car. Do some full sends. I can keep it in a straight line. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, have we broken something? Something's rubbing. Okay, looks like the lipo just came loose. Just tighten that up. Okay, I reattached the battery, secured it back in place. Just came out of the Velcro strap. Pretty decent air. Yeah, pretty decent air control as well. Controls are very responsive. Oh, that was a double front flip.
Nice. There we go. Love that self-riding feature. Oh. We're going to go for a front flip then. Oh, <laughs> nice. Perfect. You definitely get some good air. Oh, I think we're in LVC, guys. Yeah. The light went out on the front. So that is the battery. Pretty decent run time though. I did give it a hammer in today. So uh, yeah guys, if you want to get one of these yourself, it is an awesome truck. Doesn't look like I broke anything. I've heard that uh, a couple of guys have been breaking the CVD axles and uh, dog bones, but there's no damage on this one. So yeah, it's pretty durable truck guys. There's no damage at all. An absolute insane power coming from the 3S system on this truck. Alalo have come up with a really good electronic combo for this one. Definitely got heaps of power. And I'm only running the 16 tooth pinion, which in my opinion is more than enough power to run this truck like for bashing. If you want to do speed tests, yeah, go ahead. Put that 21 or 20 tooth pinion in there, but uh, I'm happy just uh, running it the way it is. So yeah, by the time you watch this video, it should be available for pre-sale at the introductory price. Alalo have set at $149 US. So uh, yeah, click the link below if you want to grab one of these. I believe they've got 600 uh, at that pre-sale price. I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be snapping these up. Uh, like many of their pre-sales that they've ran in the past, they tend to sell out pretty quick at the uh, lowered pre-sale price. So uh, anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Always great to hear from you, so comment below, and I'll catch you on the next video. Until next time, guys, enjoy the hobby as always, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.